Oh dear God, it's back. That's right, for better or for worse, we are back for another incredibly dumb Yahoo Answers video. The site dumb people go to get answers from other dumb people. What could go wrong? <laughs> Now, I won't lie, the first video we did of this almost gave me an aneurysm, uh, but seeing as how there's a lot of dumb things going on in the world right now, I thought, what better time to make fun of people's stupidity than right now? But before that, I wanted to thank the sponsor of today's video, Raycon! Or if you couldn't understand me through all of the auto-tune, Raycon. So Raycon is a company that provides wireless, premium audio quality headphones and earbuds at an affordable price. Their newest model, the Everyday E25 earbuds, are their sleekest and best model yet, and offer six hours of playtime, seamless Bluetooth pairing, more bass, a compact design that gives you a nice noise isolating fit. It also comes in a range of colors to fit your lifestyle. So whether you're listening to a 10-hour mix of SpongeBob's Gary Come Home, making music to go on your next album, wow, this sounds terrible, or if you're helping a friend make a metal song about taking a crap. Raycon has got you covered. And since they're wireless, you can do everything without worrying about things getting tangled up, so you can do your thing no matter where you are. At a park. In France, trying to get a baguette the fromage. In a I'm just kidding, don't, don't do that one. In space. At a club. No, I don't want to listen to your stinky trap music. I'm still listening to Gary Come Home, because it's a 10 hour mix and I'm only six hours in. And best yet, Raycon started about half the price of any other premium wireless earbud on the market and sound just as good, if not better, than any other competitor. So what are you waiting for? Go to buy Raycon com slash Destry for 15% off your first order. Link in the description down below. Oh, God. Ah, I'm honestly kind of nervous. I really don't want my faith in humanity to go any lower than it already is, but let's do this. I need to grow a third boob. And the top answer is, that would be nice. Someone could suckle on the middle one and press the other two to the side of their face. With this one, I don't even really think it's that dumb. It's just, why would you have a need to grow a third boob? It says, I need to grow a third boob. Like, why? what is the fucking pressing concern where you're like, I need this? Would you do ass to mouth to save a family member Member's life for question mark asked in politics and government <laughs> wait was this asked to like joe biden <laughs> why is like all i can imagine is joe biden going ass to mouth with someone now <laughs> that's disgusting that man has so much dementia that he would probably forget midway through eating an ass that he's eating an ass and just be like what is this butthole doing right here <laughs> what oh yeah here's one well smoking a lot of weed make me japanese <laughs> How would this in any fucking universe make sense? Someone should have just answered like, yes. <laughs> no, no explanation, just yes, yes. Is low fat custard okay for lubricant? When my girlfriend and I are having sex, we normally use full fat custard. <laughs> oh God. But when I went shopping today, they only had low fat. Will this still be okay? And will she still enjoy it as much as she loves a bit of custard in her canal? I never want to hear the words custard in her canal ever again. I don't know who asked this question, but you know, I have a really great website for you. If you want to go to adamandeve.com, make sure to use code Smith at 50% off. Check it out. Okay. I saw my auntie nudely during she is changing her dress. I saw her nudely. <laughs> I saw her whole body, booms and vagina. <laughs> Dude, I'm gonna start calling tits booms now. <laughs> Yo, girl, show me down booms. I am almost 20 year old boy. I saw my auntie nudely. She told me to not tell anybody. I don't know what to do. Please help. Yeah, I don't know what to tell you, man. I mean, speaking as someone who's never seen his aunt's booms, I can't really, t like, I have no advice for you. You had a bad day. You saw your aunt's vagina. You saw her nudely during she's trained in her dress. My younger. 15 year old cousin has been promoted to the adult table for Thanksgiving, but I have not. I have been told that my younger cousin Sal is being promoted to the adult table this Thanksgiving because he's smarter and more entertaining than me. He's getting great uncle Peep's seat. He died in a lawnmower accident this July, which means I have to sit at the kids table again. I really don't think this is fair for Sal to sit at the seat that he's younger than me. I know I need to stand up to my relatives and tell them I am 37 years old <laughs> that I sit at the adult table, but I just don't know how to work up the nerve. Any suggestions? First and foremost, I just want to say uh, rest in peace. Uncle Peep and his terrible, terrible lawnmower accident. <laughs> In the oh no, oh no, oh no. I just read this one and I'm gonna spare you guys. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm gonna spare you guys reading it out loud, uh, but it's, uh, it's not good. It's not good. Is there any kind of food or drink that'll make your penis larger in width? Nothing stupid or that costs a lot. Best answer by Heather. Goat urine. Source. Proven. Oh, Heather, what are you doing in your spare time, girl? Here's a pretty relatable one. How do I deal with quarantine if I don't have friends and I live alone? Answers. Masturbate. Uh, play around online. Masturbate. Clean your house. Masturbate. Do yard work. 
masturbate, etc. My god, it's like Richard just like knows me or something. This is literally my day schedule. Wow. wow. I also really suggest uh, getting a lotion because you'll start chafing after the third day. You're welcome. Was Adolf Hitler Germany's best leader? <laughs> and then someone answered, not at all. He was a monster and a psychiatrist. <laughs> So I was like, I think you mean psychopath, but you're right. No, he was a psychiatrist. Psychiatrist, don't trust him. How did people masturbate back in 1978 if there were no porn available back then? Well, speaking as someone who has broken into their dad's porn shed, I can tell you that there was porn back then. It just was a lot different than how it is now. For one, I'm not sure why, but there, there was a lot more hair back then. Open up a magazine, you're like, whoa, is that a man, a woman, or is that the Pokemon Tangula? I really don't fucking know. Holy crap, I can almost see a little bit of woman in this photo. But on that note, I, I think I prefer the porn back then because because anywhere you look now, it's just fucking stepsister porn. And I'm just like, why? You're making it so uncomfortable for anyone that has a stepsister. And all of it is always so fucking stupid. It's like, oh no, I'm trapped in the, the clothes dryer. Whatever shall I do? Whoa, stepsister, I can't stop my pee pee. Jesus Christ. <coughs> Way asks, can you use a plastic food wrap instead of a condom for cucumber masturbation? My sister masturbates with a cucumber, but she doesn't use a condom. Can she get any kind of diseases from this? I have terrible news for you. I think your sister might be pregnant with, with cucumbers. She needs to be checked immediately. What are you doing on Yahoo Answers? Get, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Why won't my parakeet eat my diarrhea? <laughs> <laughs> the answer. It's obvious that it's because he's a baby parakeet. So if you want him to eat your diarrhea, you have to put it in your own mouth and then chew it up a bit and then feed it to him out of your mouth. Asker rating, five stars. Oh, that makes sense. Thanks. <laughs> what the fuck? Does it? Does that make sense? Okay. All right. When you have an idea, does a light bulb really appear over your head? I've always wondered this, but I've never had an idea before. So I don't know if this is true. Never had an idea, dude. Best answer. Yes, it does. It can be a good or bad, depending on the situation. If you're passing under a low doorway, it might not be the best thing. Personally, I prefer uh, Jimmy Neutron's brain blast. Is that what it's called? Is it brain jam? Brain brain blast? Where it goes like into his ear and you see his ideas like mapping out and then it comes out and he's like, brain blast or whatever he fucking says. I want to set my house on fire? How do I set my house on fire without setting my house on fire? What? I wonder if anyone's died because of Yahoo Answers. The sad truth is probably yes. Like there, there's no denying, probably someone has died. God, dude, these are fucking awful. Why does steam come out of my vagina? Can somebody please help? <laughs> steam? Steam. Again, with this one, there's no response, so I really just hope that this person got the help that they were looking for. I put an egg up my butt, and I can't get it out. I was feeling rather horny, so I shoved a hard-boiled egg in my butt on a whim. But to my horror, when I tried to get it out, I discovered that it was lodged in my rectum. Additional details. I just tried fishing it out with a coat hanger, and it became more snagged, and I'm bleeding profusely. Once again, I can't believe I have to say this, but uh, don't put weird shit in your fucking butthole or vagina. God damn it. Why my balls smell like ham. First off, how do you even know what the hell a ham smells like? This dude's just like, whoa, that smells like ham. Would my laptop get heavier if I put more files in it? Best answer, LOL, yes. Mine has a ton of files on it now. I need a forklift just to take it into the next room. Just imagine lifting up a fucking MacBook. Oh, holy shit, I need to empty the trash. If Batman parents are died, then how was he born? Oh, that's a really good question, man. I think he's right. Do midgets. Have night vision. One of my friends told me that midgets have night vision, but I wasn't sure if it was true. Yet another one that I wish someone would have just answered, yes. How do I make my boobs look bigger? My boobs are really small, and I would like to make a little bigger. No sir gray or pills. I tried stuffing it with tissues, but that sucks. <laughs> Does drinking milk help? I don't know why the first thing I thought of was uh, the movie The Animal with Rob Schneider, where he drinks badger milk. Now that's good badger milk. But that, guaranteed, will make your tits bigger, so that's what I would go with. Everyone be drinking bovine titty milk. <laughs> oh, it's all about the badger milk, bruh. <laughs> what is this? The spider have puss puss. You know, I don't know if I'm getting enough information from this one. Let's see what else he said. The spider have puss puss. Oh, that's it. Okay, okay. Best answer uh, from Sisyphus. No! <laughs> All caps. <laughs> How am I sure I'm the real mom of my kid? I just had a baby, and it looks more like the man I had my baby with. Doesn't look like me at all. I'm scared that he was cheating on me with another lady and I had her kid. This child is the best thing that's ever happened to me and I can't imagine giving my baby to the real mom. <laughs> oh my god. You cannot be serious. 
I can't. I can't, guys. That that that's it. That's it. I can't do it. If I had to read another one of these, I was gonna put a shard of glass straight in my urethra. Well, I hope that this has been enlightening. I hope that you have all learned a valuable lesson from watching today's video, and that no matter how dumb you think you might be, you're probably not the dumbest person ever. But on that note, if you guys want to leave some questions slash things you need life advice from in the comments down below, uh, hopefully pretty soon I'm gonna be doing a life advice slash internet support group slash Q and A. I don't care whether they're real questions, fake questions whatever, just fucking leave them in the comments down below. Also, before you guys go, if you do like this uh, N64 designed uh, sweater thingy guy I have, oh, oh, hello. You can get this at publicspace.xyz. They're just a fantastic company I want to throw some love to, so yes, definitely check them out. That's it, guys. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. I know life's been real weird for everyone lately, but uh, hang in there and just know that you're not as dumb as a lot of the people that we talked about today. You'll be fine. But yeah, that said, I will see you next time. I love you guys, and fair winds.